Let's take a look at how the HP vCenter plugin with HP OneView integration allows you to deploy a new vSphere cluster in minutes with vSphere Standard, Enterprise, or Enterprise Plus. In this demonstration, we'll deploy a four-node vSphere cluster from bare metal, all from within the vSphere web client. The HP vCenter plugin will automate the provisioning of the physical infrastructure using HP OneView's REST API, then deploy ESXi to each server's local boot disk using HP server provisioning. All hosts will be automatically added to the cluster, and vSwitch host networking configured with NIC teaming to match the HP OneView server profile configuration. Okay, let's dive in. First, we'll establish HP OneView credentials for the HP vCenter plugin so it can talk to the HP OneView REST APIs to automate the physical infrastructure provisioning for our four node cluster. We've previously established the credentials for HP server provisioning, so we're ready to dive in. Here we'll go to vCenter hosting clusters where we have a brand new cluster defined with no configuration. Next, we'll select the HP Grow Cluster action, which launches an HP OneView optimized workflow for growing the cluster's compute capacity. We'll select a reference server profile that captures the best practice configuration for our ESX template, and then apply that to multiple server blades that we select uh, in the wizard. We'll be also selecting a ESX uh, OS build plan that will be deployed by HP server provisioning. All the hosts will be automatically added to the cluster and host networking configured automatically with NIC teaming that matches the HP OneView server profile configuration. So first we'll select the OS build plan. Next we'll select the reference server profile. And again, this will be the ESX template server profile with our best practice configuration. Then we'll be able to see all the available server hardware that are compatible with our ESX template server profile. And then finally, we can see the static IPs that we've requested for each of the hosts in the cluster. And now we can uh, take a peek under the hood and see how the HP vCenter plugin is automating the HP OneView REST APIs. Here in HP OneView, we can see the HP vCenter plugin has automatically created four server profiles that are configuring uh, the firmware, the BIOS, the uh, boot configuration, uh, the server personality, and the network connectivity. We can also see how the HP vCenter plugin automates the HP server provisioning REST APIs to do the OS deployment. Here in the Insight Control Server Provisioning uh, user interface, we can see the OS build plans are executing, all automatically created by the HP vCenter plugin, and that the ESX uh, stateful deploys are uh, going with the server's pixie booting to the uh, server automation light deployment engine. So if we go back to the vSphere web client, we can see how the HP vCenter plugin keeps track of all of the ongoing deployment tasks. Here in the HP vCenter plugin, we can see all the active uh, jobs that are running, and we can see that the uh, OS deployment has successfully completed with ESXi being um, installed onto each of the four hosts in the cluster. Um, the static IPs have been configured automatically, the hosts have been added to the cluster, and the host networking configured. Here we can see the overall cluster status um, for the networking. Um, both at the server profile level and the host networking configuration on the ESX uh, instance itself. And then if we want to uh, drill down into a specific host in the cluster, um, we can select it and see some overview information about that uh, server, as well as getting an end-to-end -end networking view um, all the way from the vSwitches up through the teamed physical adapters um, and up to the redundant pair of virtual connects Flex fabric modules, and even up to the top of rack switches. So a really nice end-to-end -end networking view that goes all the way from the V switches up through the top of rack switches. Next, we'll look at the integrated firmware management capability um, using the update firmware action. You can see the current firmware baseline installed by HP OneView, and you can also select a new firmware baseline from the HP OneView on appliance firmware repository and execute that now or schedule it for the future. 
Okay, so to recap, we deployed a four-node vSphere cluster in minutes using the new HP vCenter plugin, all from within the vSphere web client. HP OneView provisioned the physical infrastructure, and HP Server Provisioning deployed ESXi onto the local boot disk of each server. All hosts were automatically added to the cluster, and vSwitch host networking configured with NIC teaming to match the server profile. The end-to-end -end networking diagram showed us the resulting network configuration from the vSwitches up through the virtual connect modules and all the way to the top of rack switches. Finally, integrated HP OneView firmware management makes it easy and simple to keep your systems up to date. Thank you.